after five years of signing 30,000 naira as the minimum wage for Nigerian workers, civil servants are happy that the government is considering an increment in the minimum wage. Most public and private sector workers believe that the increment would ease the current hardship they are experiencing in the face of threats by employers to cut down their staff strength in order to sustain their businesses. Hassan Lohan Kuli reports. Public servants across the country have welcomed the news of the constitution of a committee to rebuild the minimum wage in the country. Al-Amin Halilu, a local government worker, says the current minimum wage of 30,000 naira is not enough to cater himself alone, let alone his family. <laughs> I am happy that the government wants to review the minimum wage. We are in critical economic condition and to serve our current needs, the minimum wage must be at least 150,000 naira because our current salary cannot even sustain us for a week. Although Abdul Mumin Abu Bakr Another worker is eagerly awaiting a salary increase. He is, however, worried that the development could trigger an increase in commodities, especially for food items. The issue of minimum wage is a very critical issue in this country because we, we have seen the way things are increasing in the market, especially when it's, when it's come to food, if you want to buy something in the market. You go to market, you want to buy something today, 5,000, tomorrow it's going to be 6,000. So I want to use this medium to appeal to the committee to look into the issue of the way things are increasing. The federal government should establish a committee for monitoring, you know, the way people are selling their goods. If you can just wake up in the morning, just, you just decided to sell your things without making, you know, what is going on in the country. It will not going to help the citizens in the country. Some business owners in Gombe view the planned minimum wage increment as a welcome development on the one hand, but have reservations that it will also have a negative impact on their businesses and their employees. We must follow the instruction from the government because we are all under government. We will add money, like uh, AP government say. So the defendant we will make to, the, to our to our staff, it will affect us because we are suffering. What I need in these positions, we need government interventions. There is most government intervention for private organizations like us because. If we say we will continue first salary at minimum wage, we are running at loss. So it's a two things will be happen. Whether we close the business and go for other one, or we reduce our staff. So if we reduce our staff at this level, so there are many unemployment available in the country. So what do you think? That's why I say we must need, there is must need a government intervention at this level. According to World Bank, Nigeria's poverty rate rose from 50% in 2018 to 46% in 2023, with many people living below the poverty line due to the sluggish economic growth and rising inflation. Hassan Lawankoli, Trust TV News, Gwambe.